For much of this week, residents in New Sharon have been coping with the effects of rising water levels on the North Skunk River. The water flooded over Highways 146 and Highway 63, closing those roads. It also contaminated two of the four water wells that New Sharon pulls its water from. The pump station that pumps water from those wells was also inundated, disabling the water pumps. That was on Sunday night. The pumps supply water to the treatment plant, which fills the water towers for customer use. So without the water pumps, the water towers in New Sharon couldn't be replenished. In response, officials transported water from Oskaloosa's water treatment plant up to New Sharon using fire trucks. So while the water leaves our system and it's safe to drink, you're putting it in a fire truck that's had who knows what run through it. Um, and so they're taking that and they're pushing it back into the system. That allows people up there to flush their toilets, um, take showers if they need to, and if they're going to cook or drink with it, then they're boiling it first. It also, you know, they're, they're providing that fire protection. If they would have a major house fire and there's no water in that tower, you're going to have to haul water in from somewhere. The boil order is still in effect for New Sharon as of this Friday morning. However, that's not the only way New Sharon residents were able to quench their thirst. Members from Mahaska County's Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT, handed out bottled water to 628 residents on Monday and even delivered water to about 53 homes. On Tuesday, Jason Madison caught up with the CERT members and filed this report in their own words. 